right. As you can see, most people pay a 1.5% to almost 4% fee when buying cryptocurrency on Coinbase. So if I wanted to purchase $1,000 worth of Bitcoin right now, today, on Coinbase, and I was using a debit card, guess what? They're going to charge me almost $40 in fees to do that. It's too much. I have a tip. I have a trick. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this for free. As in, you'll be able to buy Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency that's supported by Coinbase on Coinbase, and you're going to do this and pay $0 in fees. And if you're relatively new to cryptocurrency, or even if you're more advanced, you know, you're going to want to learn this now. Because this is something that I personally wish somebody would have clued me into a lot sooner. Because in the end, it just it saves you a ton of money. And like always, welcome back, everybody. This is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. I appreciate you tuning in today. And if you want to support our channel, if you appreciate me sharing this information with you, do me a favor, hit the like button. Clicking the like button, it's a small thing you can do, and it truly does help us grow as a channel. Okay, so let's get into it. I want to start off simple. So we're on Coinbase right now, and I use Coinbase. I like Coinbase. I think a lot of people use Coinbase, especially the first time they buy Bitcoin or the first time they buy an altcoin. And it's easy to explain why, right? The service that Coinbase provides is simplicity, ease of use. I mean, the only two options Coinbase has is buy or sell. But that makes things incredibly straightforward and incredibly user-friendly. And with Coinbase, you're getting simplicity and you're getting convenience. And for that convenience, for that service, got to pay these big fees. And like I said, you know, if I wanted to purchase $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on Coinbase, and I, I, if I did a direct bank transfer, they would charge me 1.5% in fees. And that would come out to about $15.00. Or if I did a debit card, it would charge me 4% and that'd be almost $40. And, you know, there's nothing wrong paying for this service. There's nothing wrong with doing it this way. But for me, this is money that I would rather put to a better use. So let me show you the solution. Let me show you how to pay $0 in fees. And by the way, if you want to be a part of more videos like this, if you want to stay up to date on everything going on in the cryptocurrency market, join the altcoin daily team subscribe to our channel hey it might be the best thing you do all day okay so let's get into it the solution to avoid paying the high service fees when you're buying bitcoin is to use coinbase pro let me explain coinbase pro um, it's an extension of coinbase they're run by the same company so if you have a coinbase account you're going to be able to log into Coinbase Pro with the exact same information. I know Pro sounds like something that might be only for professionals, or maybe it sounds like something that you might need to pay for, but it's not the case. You can log into Coinbase Pro right now and check it out yourself. And if you want to know the difference, the difference between Coinbase and Coinbase Pro is that Coinbase is technically a broker i.e. a service where they acquire Bitcoin for you and then they charge you to do it. Whereas Coinbase Pro is an exchange. It's like Binance or KuCoin, where you can buy and sell Bitcoin and altcoins in the open market. So Coinbase Pro is good for more active traders and it offers a lot of features. You know, it's not as simple as Coinbase, but it is great for buying coins and paying zero fees and let me show you how let me show you how to do this because you're gonna it's incredibly easy uh, let's just go through the steps so you're gonna go on coinbase pro and you're gonna log in with the exact same information and then you're gonna find this button right here deposit click deposit then it's gonna ask you for a currency type and you're gonna click US dollar or whatever your native currency is and then you're going to click bank account and then you're going to link your bank account to Coinbase Pro. And that's it. You can now buy Bitcoin with $0 in fees using Coinbase Pro, which is the exact same thing as Coinbase, only it's an exchange instead of the brokerage. 
once you do this, you're never going to want to be, you're never going to want to go back. You know, when I first found out about this, I sent this to my friends. I told them about this because, you know, a lot of people get on Coinbase and that's all they know. And this, this really is a game changer, in my opinion, at least when you first find out about this. I know a lot of people right now are probably like, oh, that was it. That was the big tip slash trick. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know. So I wanted to clue you in. Hope I was able to help. I hope you got value in today's video. And if you want to continue to stay in the know on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space, subscribe to our channel, join the Altcoin Daily team. A lot of people are going to make a lot of money in cryptocurrency over the next several years, I think. And there's really no reason why you and me can't be two of those people. But if you want to stick around, I want to show you one more trick. This is a bonus trick, a bonus tip. Did you know it's also possible to have zero dollars in fees when trading on Coinbase Pro? So let me show you. So you can see here um, when you're making a, here, let's bring up this. You can see when, you know, you know when you're making a trade on any exchange, uh, you expect to have small transaction fees. Well, on the Coinbase exchange, on Coinbase Pro, um, it costs about 0.3%. And, and keep in mind, 0.3%, that is a fraction of 1%, and obviously still so much better than 1.5 to 4%. Uh, but you can also see here, it is possible to have 0% in fees. So I want to show you, you know, taker fee, maker fee. I'm going to show you the difference right now. How to Once you're on Coinbase Pro, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Um, so if you want to take advantage of free trades on Coinbase Pro, this is how you do it. And it really is the difference between being a maker versus being a taker. So if you were to buy or sell um, under this market tab right here, that would mean you're a taker of the market. And what that means is that when you do it under this market tab, that means you accept the price of Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency, you accept the price, whatever the current market price is. And if you did this, you would pay that 0.3% for the taker fee because you're taking it from the market. On the other hand, if you were to buy or sell under this limit tab, you would be a maker. And this is where you can set the exact price point that you want to get in or out of or in or out with. And when you do this, the trade wouldn't necessarily go through immediately because, um, you know, what you'd be doing was probably setting the price that you wanted to enter with or setting the price you wanted to exit with, which probably wouldn't be the exact price the market is right now. And then the buy or sell would go through whenever the market does reach that price point, whenever it can find a buyer or a seller. But if you did this, if you did this under the limit tab, then you would be a market maker and you could do this all day and you could pay zero dollars in fees. So I'm sure you can see that utilizing Coinbase Pro will save you a ton of money in the long run. I mean, to me, it's a no brainer. Um, like I said, I hope I was able to provide you with value today. And that's it for the video. You know, if you want to stick around. Sometimes at the end of the videos, I like to check out our Twitter. So, and by the way, if you have a Coinbase, uh, one of the cool features of Coinbase is they have this uh, referral thing where you can, you know, if you have a referral code, um, both you and the person who clicks on your link would get $10 free in, um, in Bitcoin. Um, feel free to post your referral codes at the end of this video. And um, if you're new to cryptocurrency, feel free to click on them and then you and whatever subscriber to Altcoin Daily would get $10 free. It's a pretty good deal. But if you want to stick around, let's just check out the Twitter real quick. Hey, by the way, Merry Christmas, everybody. If you're still here watching this video, just let me know. How about a Merry Christmas or something? All right. So what's going on with Twitter? Whale alert. Uh, if you follow whale alert, shows us when whales are making moves. 3,300 uh, Bitcoin was transferred to an unknown wallet. Uh, congratulations to Tron mainnet accounts surpassing 1 million in 184 days. Great news for Tron. Like that. 
Um, anybody a fan of Waves out there? Um, the small step will be made today. Stay tuned. Waves team has prepared a nice Christmas surprise for the community. It's going to be a small step, but very important. It will be followed by a really big step at the beginning of 2019. You're going to like it, believe me, next Monday. Okay, I'll look forward to that. I like Waves. Mark is doing really well today, guys. Um, basically, what I expect is, um, you know, we've been going up for days now, and that's after months and months, almost a year of going down. But it's good. We're seeing this bounce back. I don't know. I forgot what it felt like to have a growing portfolio. So this is good. You know, we're not going to grow forever. Um, let's go to three months, actually. Um, so this is, we were, had that 6.5k base for a while, and now we're back up to almost where we fell to at the very end of November. So let's see if we can get past um, what was once support is now resistance. And basically what I'm expecting is somewhere between here and 6k, we're going to hit this resistance at the 6k level, and then we're going to fall again. So... If um, you're in, if you were able, if you bought this dip right here and you're in some profits now, you might want to actually consider taking profits. Obviously, it's up to you, but for me personally, that's kind of what I'm doing. I just, uh, you know, I'm seeing if it goes up a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to see if it goes up to uh, almost $5,000, then I'm going to take some profits. That's me. But I think the safest thing to do is just hold. I mean, that's how you get the biggest gains. Anyway, that's it for me today, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a Merry Christmas.